Hey guys, welcome to another Unity Showcase today, and this is an asset that I actually featured in one of my sort of top 10 features quite a few months ago now, and um, I never got around to featuring it, but a recent release of the new Spider-Man game, and they talked about introducing technology like this, even though it's not necessarily, it may not be quite as advanced as this, but it's still quite a nice effect. And so you will sort of see it cross over. If you look in the Spider-Man games and you look into a building, a high rise building, say like this picture here, you will see a sort of faked interior scene inside each of the sort of rooms in a building. And it wouldn't have any additional geometry in there, like desks, tables, chairs. It would just be a shader that sort of mimics the look of that in a sort of 3D space. And it makes it look like there's an interior to a room when actually there isn't at all and I'll show you an example. So you can take a look at this, it's called Fake Interiors Free, and it's free, so which is great, and it's using the Amplify Shader Editor to create this, and there's a lot of different features towards it, so you can flexibly recreate the rooms, you can adjust the actual design and the level of smoothness and reflection, um, you can add a layer for props, so you can have items inside there, and you can have custom textures for each of the rooms that you can change, you can control the tint color, out of the room and you can then if you have the amplify shader enter you can edit the shader if you so wish you'll get this inside your scene and it's got various examples so this is just a sort of example of one section of building as you can see there's nothing behind it but you can see in this room specifically there's it looks like there is room in there say you're making a specific example where you have to run past specific you know, large buildings that you've created, whereas you would have a maybe an intricate sort of bottom floor to your building, but then the upper floors could be um, adjusted accordingly to however you arrange your textures. And you can see in this simple example, you can select the actual side face of the building. If I move the actual window glass, which has this material on it, you can see that no matter where it goes, it always looks like that we're looking at the room depending where we're actually looking based on the things inside the room. So you can look on the right hand side in the inspector and you can see that there's a bunch of settings. We can control the tint of the room. So you can see you can set different colors depending if you had different if you had different moods of lighting, let's say. You can control the actual intensity of the room. So if you need to make it brighter darker, whatever it may be, you can set that to how you can have a texture for the actual look of the glass or the exterior of that panel. You can um, adjust the tiling of the things that you would put over the window and you can control the smoothness. You can actually have a texture for the floor. You can't see it tiling there. You can have a texture for the wall and you can up the tiling. You can toggle a prop layer, so if you've got a prop uh, texture, you can drop that in there and you can hide or unhide that if you so wish. You can adjust the scaling of that, so we can have lots of little chairs and tables in there. Um, we've got all the scaling for the sort of side walls and we've got one for the ceiling. So each of the different elements within the sort of, if you imagine it, a 3D room, you can swap them around and you can adjust the sort of the X and Y values of each of it and the actual tiling in the entire room as it is a whole. Like I said, making a version of this and making lots of sort of high rised renditions of this and we snap these together, you know, you can quite easily make a very tall building out of this with relative ease. So be sure to check out the fake interiors free and it might be one that you would really help you out in future development. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.